My name is Darcy Button. This is a picture of me when I was little. When I was about four or five years old, I went to the park with my sister and a neighborhood boy named Logan. I was only six when this happened. I was terrified to go home and tell my parents what happened. We were just playing in the park with my friend Logan. He was my age. And for some reason, he liked to take the swing and put it over his head and throw it down. He was doing it over and over again, but he stopped for a second. And while he stopped, Darcy started playing in the sand underneath the swing. Logan came back and went to go and push the swing again. And when he did, nails in the bottom of the swing went through my head and cracked my head open. But it was so scary. There was a lot of blood. She wasn't replying to me whenever I was asking her to get up and tell me if she was okay. So I immediately ran home after not getting a reply from her. I was crying so much and screaming down the street. I remember the hit felt blunt, like somebody just walked up behind me and tapped me on the back of the head. I remember falling over and everything went black. I remember people screaming, but I don't know what they were saying. We were standing in the driveway when we heard an awful scream and Chelsea came running over to us to tell us that Darcy had been struck in the head by a swing. We ran over to the playground where we found her unconscious with a gash in her head and blood running down her neck. We called an ambulance where she was transported to the emergency room. They rushed her to surgery and surgically closed the gash in her head. The next thing I knew, I was in a room and people were talking. I heard a heart monitor, but for some reason I couldn't open my eyes or move my body. It felt like an eternity, I was stuck like that. She remained unconscious for several days and we were very scared and uncertain of what was going to happen next. When I was finally able to open my eyes again, the doctors came in and explained to me that I had been in a coma for two months. When my family approached me, I didn't know who they were. When I came out of my coma, I had temporary amnesia. and. I can't even imagine how that felt for my mom, my dad, or my sisters. The doctors told them that I was likely never to come out of my coma again. And to know that I finally came out of my coma, but yet I don't remember any of them. I feel horrible each time I remember it. But thankfully, I did regain my memories and soon after, everything went back to normal.